Now, from 12 Sports, this is the Wendy's Friday Night Blitz. Good evening and welcome to a week two edition of the Friday Night Blitz. I'm Sam Knox. He's Mike Yuva. We are cruising along into the heat of the season as teams continue to battle it out early in the fall, Mike. Yes, yeah, and while the season is still young, the competition this week certainly picked up, and that was the case for our game of the week over at Cranston West. Falcons hosting Portsmouth, and this game had plenty of scoring early. First play from scrimmage from Portsmouth. It's Adam Goheny. He's going to take the toss, gets a couple blocks, and look at him go. Hippity happen to the Bobby shot. 55 yards for the touchdown. Sam, the PAT would feel. So Portsmouth goes up 6 0. But here comes Cranston West. Right back, thanks to the Cornell brothers. Keelan with what his throw. Catch. What a catch out by his brother, Charlie. I don't know if they call him Chuck, doesn't matter. Great catch, young man. And are you kidding me? Next play, a couple plays later, David Bosa. Easy touchdown. And this game would go. Down to the wire, Cranston West goes on to win 27-26. Wow. What a catch, though, by Charlie. That's a great, great game, Cranston West. Cumberland, Bishop Hendrickson, out of league matchup, an intriguing one. Two great programs. Hendrickson knocking on the door to the end zone. Jeremy Seedy punches it in. Hendrickson extends their lead. The Clippers were held by the Hawks' defense. However, a nice run here from Evan Spencer on the QB keeper, the big man around the edge get a good chunk of yardage it wouldn't amount to a score however and the hawks they would take advantage on the other side of the ball to keep it pushing on the ground this time it's jeremy dennis with the rushing touchdown hendrickson wins 35 to 12. westerly fans were hyped for the east providence game which we'll get to in a minute but our player of the week logan gillinus in Burrowville, Broncos taking on Barrington tonight. Eagles scored first, trying to keep their offense flowing. Lucas Newton finds the big tight end for the first down, and then they would score a little bit later on. Barrington got the fake going, and they would score Jack Beluzzi for the touchdown. Burrowville wins in a low score on a fair 14-0. All right, Westerly fans hyped up for this one. East Providence, the home team, didn't disappoint. Late first half, third and goal from the three. Landon Husero with the rollout finds Caleb Williams. Westerly goes up 20 to nothing. Third quarter, same score. Husero finds Calvin Hill for the touchdown. Westerly goes on to win 26 to nothing. Sam South Kingstown hosted Middletown. First quarter, no score. Jordan Charlix from five yards out. He's going to punch it on in, make it 7 0 South Kingstown. Second quarter, same score. Dante Penno is going to receive the pitch and look at him. Ball comes out, fumble. Going to pick it up. Touchdown, South Kingstown. They would go on to win 28 to 6. All right, West Warwick visiting Shea at Max Reed Field. First drive for the Wizards. James Branch, kid's a beast. Takes the handoff, finds a huge hole, and he is gone down the sideline in for a quick touchdown. West Warwick up 7-0. Start of the second quarter, same score. Raiders tied up. Angel Lopes, the freshman quarterback, takes it himself for the score, but it was all West Warwick after that. Wizards dominate 28-7. Tolman and Coventry battling on this one out. Down to the wire early on. Tolman gets going. Noah Taylor finds Darren Valentin on the slant. Tigers, six points, easy. Later on, Taylor. Well, this time he's going to get the carry. And, and he's he going to go, 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 go. All the way. Look at him go. We're going to cover with the tacklers. No, they can't keep up with him. He's them. fast, man. However, when we left Coventry, of course, naturally, they're going to get all their points. 21-20, the Oakers with a nice comeback win. Rube sighting there, Rube sighting. Pilgrim hosting Cranston East. Here come the Patriots. Love the entrance. Look at that. Pilgrim up a score. Carter Clifton, the quarterback, slings it deep to his guy, Luca. And that's an 80-yard connection for the score. Pilgrim. Takes a two-score lead at that point. The Thunderbolts, they need a score late, mm. and they would get it. Giovanni Gonzalez chucks it deep to Amias Reed. Beautiful play there from the Thunderbolts. Woo. Get in for a touchdown. <clears throat> but Pilgrim would go on to win 13-6, two weeks in a row. Nice win for them. Sam, a windy night over in each 
in uh, East Greenwich, and I'm, I'm showing you this hosting Central Falls Co-op because that's going to be important a little bit later on. But right before the half, East Greenwich is leading 13 zip. They're going to get an interception. Tyler Assey comes up with it to keep them off the board. But remember that win I was talking about third quarter? There it is. High snap, and this is actually going to result in a safety. Yeah. However, that would be the only two points on the night for co-op as Central Falls falls to Greenwich, East Greenwich, 19-2. All righty, we got Davies and Narragansett down by the shore. Home team was trailing 12 nothing a half midway through the third quarter. Narragansett down 12-7. Jack Giannetto muscles his way in from five yards out. Narragansett takes a 14-12 lead, but Davies would answer. As I hear Jabo weaves his way through for the score. Davies wins 24-20. All right, still to come on the blitz. Eric Rube joins the show. We are talking about our game of the week. This was from last week. This guy's ready to go. Next on the blitz, Rube's here. The Wendy's Friday Night Blitz continues on WPRI 12. Eric Rube joining us. Wendy's Friday Night Blitz. There it is. There it is. The finger points right there. All right, Rube. Uh, you saw a good one tonight. Yeah. and Tolman. What did you see of that game? Uh, very much a fun game today. Smash Mouth football, kind of like what we, what I was expecting a little bit. Teams just pounding each other on defense. But uh, Nathan Petrarca in the end, second half, kid ran for 217 yards today, uh, two touchdowns. Big, tall, strong plays in Division Three or Division Two. Sorry, that team's going to be very tough. Yeah. How about Cranston West? I believe that's two weeks in a row of a one-point victory. But they just find ways to win. Last week, Kellen Cornell, yep. game-winning touchdown, game-winning two-point conversion. This week, defensive stop got the job done. You have to find ways to win games early in the season. Builds confidence. And right now, the Falcons are, no pun intended, flying high. Pilgrim, 2-0. A couple nice wins for them. It seems like their defense has been playing well. Carter Clifton has been playing well. Uh, quarterback. They've given up two touchdowns this year. That's the key. Yeah. They, the, the offense is going to find ways. Blake Simpson's going to plan something out. They're going to grind out touchdowns. They get in the end zone once, twice a game. They're only giving up one score. That's They're going to be fine. Pilgrim right now, a great surprise in Division Three. West Warwick Shea. Would you, would you think of that? that outcome for that one James Branch yeah exactly I was gonna let you take just, that one away he's just good he can catch he can run if they want him to throw he can he's one of the most complete backs in the state uh very talented and defenses need to find a way to slow him down if that's even possible all right cool and quick tomorrow big day uh huge day what are you expecting in about 25 seconds uh what am I expecting 25 seconds uh LaSalle over North Kingstown in a revenge game of last year's mm. semifinal. uh Classical big game against North Providence. Watch for defense to win that game. And the game I'll be at Central, St. Rayfield. I need to see 100 points from the two teams. Need it. He needs it. Need it. You know what we need? We need Coach Mike Up because that's coming up after the break. Rube, thank you for joining us. Always a pleasure. He looks great. He's got the shoes. He's got the jacket. We head things back to Cranston West for a Coach Mike Up. Always a pleasure having our guy on the mic. That's next. The Wendy's Friday Night Blitz continues on WPRI 12. All right, welcome back. Mike Eubin joins me once again. Rhode Island games in the rear view until tomorrow, as Rube was saying earlier. So now we get to three games in Southeast Massachusetts for our viewers out that way. Rivalry match, Manalboro. The Bombardiers hosting Bombardiers, baby. And Attleboro was down 10 0 to start the second half, trying to get something going. Mikey Huntington makes the catch for the first down and more, but he loses the football. Recovered by Fian's Braden Goodwin. How about it? Takes it as far as he can, and he is taken down. That would set the Shamrocks up on another drive. Owen Mortis finds Aiden Benarik. Fian pitches a shutout 31 0. From the Bombardiers to the Red Rocketeers, North Attleboro hosting Taunton. And the Red Rocketeers with a sizable lead to start the second half thanks to their ground and pound offense. Brady Paradis takes the pitch. His second touchdown of the night make it 35-8 big red. North Attleboro just could not be stopped, especially Ryan Bannon. That's touchdown number four for number 44. A little Al Bundy performance. 42-8 North, your final. Seacock hosting Old Colony tonight. Warriors looking to move to two and one. Third quarter tied up at eight. Fourth and 12. Joseph Nolan scrambles. Mm. Gets a couple yards there. 
And then later on, he would find Gavin Reich, who would reel in a touchdown. The two point would be no good. The Warriors win 28 16. All right, time for a fan favorite. Coach Mike Dup taking you to a sideline. What coach has to say, Mike? What you got? Well, we went over to Cranston West and just listened to Coach and what he had to say. Get those knees under your hips. Hit it. On your butt. Come on. Coming back, coming back, coming back. Simulating shedding here. Hands are on the goal line. Get your knees up underneath your hips. This is big. Gonna win it up front tonight. Here we go. On two, down. Set. Go, go. Eyes up. Attack. You want to attack the outside shoulder. And remember what our shoulders always do. They stay parallel. We get perpendicular shoulders. Come on. Big night for you. 11 men to the football. Let's go. Let's go. Right? Lyman on three, we're screening up. Ready? One, two, three. Lyman. Let's go on up. And up. And up. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, they they got to come this way. They can't go that far over. They can't go over that far over. Remember what we talked about? Check mark. All right? We did our check mark so far. Got to take care of business tonight. We talk about this all the time. Adversity has hit. Something's going to go wrong. Next play mentality. All right, good stuff there from him. Still to come in the Blitz. We got Player of the Week, and we announce who could be next week's nominees, but we go back to highlight week one. Slogan, Gelinas. The Wendy's Friday Night Blitz continues on WPRI 12. All right, welcome back. Well, he led Burrowville to another win this week. However, in week one, Logan Gelinas was also fantastic, garnering our first player of the week honor, a three-year starter for the Broncos. He's following in the footsteps of his brother, Jake, who was a first-team All-State pick who helped the Broncos to a title in 2017. Logan hoping to make his own postseason memories with his senior team this fall. Uh, making a great year with my boys. Uh, we've been all playing together a lot, a lot of sophomore starters, and just going out with a great year. Obviously, a state championship is always on our mind. We've been talking about it for a while, and I think we got the team to do it. It's just working hard week in and week out and just trusting our coaches. All right, Eric Rube, real quick, Player of the Week nominee. Nathan Petrarca, Coventry, 200-plus yards, two tutties. Big week for the kid. Mm -hmm. He'll be on there. All right, we send you off with our Band of the Week. Everyone, have a good night. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs> my